Bahrain was discovered in 1932. But oil is not something that the country wanted to depend on it entirely. So the government started a program of diversifying the economy away from oil many years ago. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, when he looked at trying to improve the economy through EDB, he spearheaded a process where he wanted a lot of activities to become more commercial and more focused. So Mom Telecart was established in 2006 to really bring transparency, improve performance of the portfolio that we have, and to add more uh, corporate governance to the portfolio we have. We started by 29 companies that were government companies. Today we have 28% of our investment in Europe, 8% in USA, and the rest in the region. What we do is we work in Bahrain, invest in Bahrain, and we invest for Bahrain. Montelakat, since inception, have spent more than 800 million dinar in the Bahrain economy. Montelakat invested 475 million Bahraini dinar into Gulf Air to upgrade the airline and bring it to its current shape. It's a very stabilized airline that is growing carefully into areas that are commercially viable. Aviation started in the region in Bahrain. Gulf Air was a regional carrier. We managed to expand it out of that area. Gulf Aviation Academy serves all the regional airlines. Gulf Air is only nearly 30%, if not less, user utilizer of that aviation academy. They have even expanded and having part of their simulators stationed in Europe serving some European airlines. If you go into any airline in the region, you'll find graduate Gulf Aviation Academy working with them. I'm very personally keen in our investment in the education sector. Every year of education, adds 10% to the income of the people in their future life. So once you educate people, naturally they go to the workforce. In Bahrain, manufacturing sector has grown by 80% in the past five years. Today, it accounts for 20% of our GDP. We have focus on healthcare because it touches the life of people, it improves the life of people, and it's a big market that's going to grow. Globally, people who are aged above 60 is expected to reach 2 billion by 2050. And expenditure on the healthcare is going to reach to 10 trillion by 2020. Bahrain has established itself as a, a financial hub. We've been investing and developing that sector heavily. Today we have 395 financial institutions working in Bahrain. And there is still room to grow. Today there are 2 billion people who have no access to banking facilities. Financial technology will be a big disruptor to the banking sector. And we are very keen in investing early because we think the future will be in financial technology. Another area that we've been active and focusing on is the real estate sector, be in Bahrain and globally, because one out of 10 jobs is created by tourism and real estate. We are a major shareholder in Total Bahrain, a very unique resort created in the south of the island, Bahrain International Circuit, the biggest attraction in Bahrain. And we have a pipeline for other projects that we are developing. Tourism accounts for 6.3% of Bahrain GDP and is growing at the more than 10% annually. Investing for Bahrain, we have to look globally. We have acquired with other investors the headquarters of Lenovo in the USA. The real estate in the US was a very promising investment that we did because we believe that the economy there, the real estate sector is stable and is growing and it will give us a very sound financial return to our investment. We always work in partnership. We look at companies that have a strong management, strong corporate governance, and promise growth. We are very careful in selecting the companies that have a good story, a solid ground, and really looking forward to use our investment funding to enable the company to grow further to what they are able to do with their own means. A major role that we play is that we make sure that we select the right boards of these companies. We give them proper training through NCIAD and other institutions. ALBA embarked to a big expansion program based on their own financial resources. That's what sort of corporate governance that we are trying to put in these companies to think how they can grow within the means that they have and within the resources available to them. We extend the know-how to them to enable them to grow depending on their own resources. Although we are limited in resources, Bahrain, we are a small country, the true wealth of Bahrain is its people. We have very educated Bahraini workforce, very well trained and very mobile. Whenever we put an investment to Bahrain, they didn't have to look beyond Bahrain to get their professional people and the technicians to operate their activities. We have a lot of strength in Bahrain. I think that we can bank on and really compete very strongly against 
the region. We are always focused on growth, but sustainability is an area that we always focus on as well. And I think the story is we're very optimistic, we're very bullish, and we continue to grow, and we are investing, continue to invest in Bahrain and for Bahrain.